I'm hosting this one right here. Welcome, guys, to Toddy Rap. Today we will pray for our Lord and Saviors. Saviors? Yeah. Man, Nicholas Cage, obviously. He's one of them. Who's the other one? The, the Who's like, the Holy Trinity? <laughs> Trin- uh, <laughs> oh, Fuck. Shit. <laughs> Is Nicholas Cage the father? Yeah. Who's the son? Who's the son? Who's the Holy Ghost? <laughs> <laughs> this is lore that we got to figure out. <laughs> well, shit. We'll figure out another podcast. <laughs> where else we go. <laughs> but today... Does uh, that mean we're going to need like three candles somehow? Vin Diesel is the... Vin, well, Diesel Vin Diesel has to be one yeah, of Vin them. Vin Diesel has to be one. Vin Diesel's Wait, the son. No, he's the ghost. He's because, the holy ghost. Because he did the he voiceover. Does. Yeah. He's, a, he's he the does. holy ghost. He does voice acting. Yeah, yes. yes. So we just now need the, <laughs> the son. Who's the son? <laughs> Shit. Or we could do, uh, what's his name? The one that ran into the tree. As oh, the no. Ghost yeah. He didn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's the holy ghost. I don't know. They have the CG of him. <laughs> Pot Walker. <laughs> I don't want a candle of his. I want a Vin Diesel candle. I'll buy that. <laughs> but but anyway, today we're having a church day. We're gonna do. Uh, we're having a religious podcast. Finally, for all of you, for all the people that by accidentally <laughs> click on our podcast thinking we're about reincarnation, we are. We are. For <laughs> <laughs> this episode, <laughs> this episode only. So today we're gonna talk about reincarnation of the third kind. What? <laughs> <laughs> Midnight yeah. mask. You know, the third kind. Undead reincarnation. <laughs> yeah. Like Jesus. Jesus said he'd come down onto thee and bring us. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I, I saw a post where, like, yeah, Jesus is basically a lich. I'm Forrest, your host <laughs> today. <laughs> I'm Bob. I'm 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 Edward. I'm the Ed boy. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is a leech? A lich. Lich. A lich. Yeah. A leech is a guy who sucks you off, aka a bug. That is medicine. It's okay. medicine. Yeah. A lich. What's that? Well, I mean, it depends. I mean, what? Romancer. Yeah. Well, it yeah. depends what like you know tradition you're following. But lich normally is a person who's prolonged their life by putting their soul into a thing called the phylactery by doing weird dealing. Phylactery. Yeah. While That's like doing a penis. Like a penis. <laughs> like okay. okay, okay, okay. Here's a, here's a good example, right? You, you, you ever see Potter. you ever see the animated Anastasia? Yeah. You know Where that you green thingy that fucking holds around. There's a live action version of no, Anastasia? no, 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 no. Oh. The cartoon. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, the cartoon version. Okay, okay. I think okay. Also, that was that might not have been what I said, but that's what I meant. <laughs> okay, but the cartoon okay. version of Anastasia, right? Okay, okay. You know the green thing that Rasputin has? Yeah. That's a phylactery. Um. He sold his soul for that thing to prolong his life so he can do, you know. Voodoo shit. What about or, Voldemort? Or, or that's we, the same. That's the other do one. The easy one that everyone has seen in the world: <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, he's a lich, yeah. but he doesn't bring be- he doesn't bring people back from the dead. But he could. But he, he could. could. He brought he himself could. back from the dead. Yeah, he did technically. Yeah, he glitched himself. Yeah, that's a lich. <laughs> I See <hate> that word. <laughs> he's the same way. He brought someone back from the dead. You know, yeah. <laughs> necromancer powers. He became a bitch. I mean, lich. Sorry. What? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus? Slip of the Your cousin, right? <laughs> Man, I wish I had a cousin named Jesus. <laughs> anyway, we're going to probably talk about some spooky dookie with our red lights at the beginning yeah. this time. About Midnight Mass, maybe some other Netflix horror while we're at it, just to get through some you know stuff. But this week, Midnight Mass is the number one. I mean, number two Netflix show of the... Oh, because uh, Squid Game Squid, is number Squid one? Game. Squid Game. Squid Game. Oh, we got that. Squid Game game, We, we can put that back in the, <laughs> the description. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> but uh, we'll talk about that, and, you know, I think it's a perfect time for it to come out. Halloween-ish, spooky months. Conference, general conference weekend. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, all, all you like because people know what that is. All you Mormons out there, this is the perfect <laughs> podcast where we never shit on religion. So <laughs> I think not the, this I think the religion in this is so stupid. They believe in this thing called God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> crazy, crazy. Do they make them read the Bible at school, dude. Okay, Disgusting. so yeah. so that's a thing. 
<laughs> well, Utah does that too. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, at seminary. I mean, it's not it, in school. It's in school, but it's if, not it, if in it's a class, school. it wasn't a class out there. It's, I mean, it's as, 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 time. as yeah, as far <laughs> as the school's concerned, they're like, yeah, that's that building over there that the church owns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Utah. <laughs> no, your shit. <laughs> anyway, so this show is a, a fucking religious horror where it's about a small ass community mm -hmm. that an island of 127 people strong strong in the gospel <laughs> no, okay like maybe, like maybe like a third, third, third yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not even when it first starts but you know it's a very small community and mm -hmm. back then you know even nowadays your smaller communities are pretty i'd say tight knit tight knit yeah. and religions normally a good way to keep everyone mm -hmm. stuck in the same spot in a rut mm -hmm. but um so this show starts off, and you you meet this new priest because their priest went off to the. No, 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 no. You start off with this guy. Oh yeah, I forgot. That okay. murdered this poor teenage girl. <laughs> okay, yeah, I forgot. Well, so I, I mean, it's manslaughter technically, isn't it? What is Same. what is wild to me is that he only he went to jail years. for four years. Yeah. What the fuck? Time, <laughs> I don't know, good behavior. Bro, I was counting. Okay, he was driving under the influence. Yes. Yeah. He killed a person. Mm -hmm. yep. So I'm just like, okay, a DUI. Yeah. And then, you know, manslaughter. vehicular manslaughter. Yes. Reckless driving. Mm, they kind of throw Maybe. that away at that yeah. point. It's kind of, well, once you got those two under your belt, that, that ticket's like, that's yeah. basically just a ticket. <laughs> and you get four years in jail. Yeah. Four to what? ten. Four to ten. <laughs> and he got the he got bottom half. <laughs> because of probably good behavior. He probably didn't do shit. Because I read all the religious texts. They shorten your sentence by six years, probably. And he probably didn't do anything wrong. He probably stood in the corner and didn't and do he shit. He read the Bible. Yep, for years. Well, well every, every every religious text. Yeah. Yeah. So this show, all of them. The show that I forgot about that for some reason, but the show <laughs> did start off pretty. It was so slow. It started off slow, but I mean, it, the horror was like way different because you had so he kills the girl and you you see her trying to be resuscitated and she's. You know, her face well, dude, the, the fucking the, the paramedic was so spicy. Oh yeah, because he's like the guy that killed her is like, why, why, why did God let this happen or he whatever? Started, he's praying to God. Uh, and shit. Yeah, yeah, and then the paramedic just comes out of nowhere and like, yeah. So he always, <laughs> why is it always the good ones or whatever? Right? Not he's the like, drunk assholes. Yeah, fucking die. <laughs> I was like, like, yeah, I mean, he's not wrong. Like spicy tech. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so you see her, and then he goes to jail. And you see the part, so he's laying on the bed, and his eyes open, and she's fucking, like, right there. But instead of, like, where it would be bloody, it's, like, um, an old, like, TV where it's all pixelated. It's like a glitch. Yeah, almost. glitchy. Yeah. And so, she, it, like, it's, like, probably the only jump scare you really, well, I guess there's two, but it's, like, a quick jump scare because you don't expect it. And he's just sitting there, just staring at her. And you see her throughout the time. Which yeah, yeah. Remember her just fucking. They do this continuous shot. Not continuous shot, but this. You know, he lays in bed, and it's just a shot, right? But then they keep rotating the camera, and he does that all the time. Every time he lays in bed. Mm -hmm. mm. All the time. All the time. <laughs> but anyway, so after that, he comes back to town four years later, and, you know, he's – the town's still what it is. Everyone knows everyone, so they realize when he comes back, like, oh, hey, welcome back. And the family is, you know, kind of broken up about it. But they're like, oh, since you're back, you know, instead of going back to church, he's like, I don't want to. But they're like, fuck I'm you. An, I'm an atheist. Yeah. He's like, fuck <laughs> you. You're going to church. You fucked up already. So you might as well try to save yourself. You yeah. Know, the usual. And then. Very uh, guilt trippy. Mm -hmm. Like, you killed somebody. You should go to church or yeah. whatever. <laughs> and so in the same, like, week he comes back, they get a new priest mm -hmm. or bishop or whatever well, it is. They I don't know. They I'm Monsignor. Sure. The Monsignor. To get a new Monsignor because the uh, one before, he's old and he's sick. Yeah, he's sick on the mainland. Okay. Cause he's recuperating. Yeah, because he went to Jerusalem to do, the, like, the, you know, the wall and yeah, the, yeah. whatever they do there. But then he got sick, so they're like, oh, we're going to send this guy over. I mean, he's a, like, no one like oh, no one doesn't like him, but. You know, it's change. Mm -hmm. you know, get They're the like, fuck out of my place. Like, we don't want change. We don't know you. <laughs> yeah. And, like, he, it's interesting now I think about it, looking back. So he starts off, so they have robes that they wear, like, for certain days, I guess. 
So he starts off in the gold robe, and the gold robe is supposed to represent, like, I think it's change is what they said, and under, like, very important situations. Yeah. You, like, in the last one, you see him at the, what is it called? Uh, Easter, and he's wearing the gold one. Mm. But now I'm thinking about it, because he says, you, you meet this crazy religious lady. Like, she's, like, deep end crazy. Her name is Bev. Worst, best character. She's best girl. Best, best girl. Best girl. Easily. <laughs> <laughs> and so she comes up to the comes up to him at the end. He's like, "Oh, why are you wearing this?" He's like, "Oh, I guess you know." And he left. I he forgot where he placed the like the white robe. And he's like, "Oh, I just wore this one today." And she's like, "Oh, you should have told me. I will go get it." And you know, the next time he wears it. But I'm pretty sure that was on purpose. Yeah. Now I think about it, that because it was changed. It was him. Yeah. But. Yeah. Well, spoilers, whoa. But not. <laughs> but so it, it's interesting that he starts to. He's just like a good priest. He just tries to take care of everyone. You know, nothing crazy happens. Not touching little children. No, 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 that. no all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a good guy. He's yeah, twice. Well, and then uh, after that, you get shots of like. There's teenagers and they take a boat to go like across yeah, yeah, yeah. the pond or whatever to, to get high to get high or whatever it yeah is. you know teenage yeah, shit yeah. and this island is I guess known for their stray cats okay there's just a bunch I think of they feral like a, cats yeah, yeah, everywhere yeah. The usual issue they had a rodent problem they brought the cats and so now they have a cat problem yeah. yeah and then you see the other little spooky. This was the shadow in the background. They're like, oh, shit. Hmm. Dude, the fucking. <laughs> so this is probably the first three episodes is where you, it's spooky. Like, yeah, yeah. You see shadows and then like beady eyes. Like, you know, like cat eyes kind of. Yeah. Like, you see those constantly at different parts in the fucking show. And you're just like, like, if you, if you don't pay attention, they're like in the background. But the character will pick, like, notice it. Like, yeah. After, like a minute or two. But if you're like paying attention, you'll see it. Just be there and like, what's that in the back? And it disappears. And then it moves, I'm like, oh. And you're like, <laughs> shit's going down. What the fuck is that? Yeah. So at first I thought it was this like a ghost or like, you know, some weird monster. But it's not. Yeah, it was like, this monster's eating cats. Definitely. What the fuck is it? Well, that's what happened. So a big storm comes in. Yeah. And everyone's like bunkering down. And the guy, the main character, I don't remember his name. Riley. Riley. Yeah. He sees. Worst guy. He's the worst character. I hate him. He's boring. <laughs> Extremely boring. But um, he sees the original priest, or whatever you want to call him, mm -hmm. outside. Monsignor Priot. Yeah, because, cause, you know, they wear, like, the black robe yeah, yeah, with yeah. the weird square yeah, yeah. hat looking thing. Yeah, so he's in the storm, and he starts chasing him, and this being is just running away. Yeah. And then at the end of it, at the end of the storm, everything goes back to normal, and they see tons of dead cats on the beach, like, fucking hundreds of them. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, they just fucking drowned because, you know, what are the cats going to do on an island? Yeah. Drown? Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> but I guess they're like, oh, there might be parasites. And then you meet Best Boy is what I consider. I like uh, the sheriff. The sheriff. Sheriff's Best Boy. I love the sheriff. Dude, there's a shot. So there's this old-ass old lady in this island, but it just looks like a young girl with old people makeup. Huh. And you're just like, what the fuck? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it look like this? I forgot about Reasons. That. Reasons, yeah. It does make sense. Yeah, it does make sense that later. But I'm just like, why? But I love the <laughs> sheriff in the show. So he's Muslim, right? Yeah. Yes. So he's like the only outcast in the whole place. He's the only minority. Yeah. <laughs> he's one of my favorite actors. He was in the second uh, Hill House, which I didn't like the Blair Manor one. I don't remember any of it. It, just, it was such a shit show. He was like, yeah. <laughs> he's the other guy, but he was on. He's on YouTube and podcasts all the time on one of the shows I used to watch. He's just a really cool guy. Yeah. and I just loved him throughout the show because he tries to bring reason to this community <laughs> constantly. People are like, no, you're stupid. Like, no, nah, you're you don't understand religion. You're not Christian. <laughs> you don't believe in Jesus. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> he's like, no, you don't. Different Jesus. <laughs> he's like, Whatever. That's but, funny. So he's trying to, you know, save the town. Yeah. He's like, oh, everyone leave. You know, it might be a parasite. They burn all the cat bodies. And then that's basically episode one. Episode one's kind of slow. Makes sense. It's, the first three the episodes are pretty yeah, I think pretty it's. Slow. I think, no, I think three picks up, like, mm -hmm. towards the middle of it. That's when you start learning about no, it. Oh, yeah. But two, I don't even remember what happens in two. Uh, on two, you have the religious lady with uh, with the box. I don't know. Why does she have, does she have a box? fuck and didn't think anything of it 
until later i'm like oh it all makes sense it all makes it's all sense. coming together yeah oh yeah okay yeah, yeah. like that's how we got here yeah it all makes sense now i thought you just kind of just the motherfucker just looted to the island and mm-hmm. the motherfucker just flew. Mm-hmm. That's what like, I thought no, too. No. I thought he was just following him the whole time. The same. I'm like, I don't I don't know. Know. It this makes sense. sense. <laughs> yeah, so two is two the one where they killed the dog? I thought it was three. I don't remember what happened. In it two. doesn't matter. So uh, I think you you get more probably more monologues. More There's monologues, a shit ton of monologues. From, uh, you get to know that this other lady is pregnant. Mm-hmm. So, you know, she's like, oh, she's like, I don't know, like seven months in or something yeah, like that. And she's also like the bad, like the another bad outcast. person. Yeah. There's like seven her, outcasts. Yeah, well, her, <laughs> her, her, her husband works in the mainland or something like that. Did. Her ex husband. Yeah. Yeah. Something yeah. like yeah. that. It's something stupid. Num- num- number two is a, it's a blur. Yeah. I think it's just, so this, this show has a good and a bad about it. It has monologues <laughs> that last for like ten minutes a piece. Oh boy! And it's very religiousy. <laughs> or it's like they have this monologue of the main character, the Riley mm. dude, and this other lady. And they're like, oh, "What do you think? To oh, what happens after you die?" Yeah, right? yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, it's, and it's, and like it's like a ten minute scene. And you're like, a bit. <laughs> 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 and so like, if you're there for that, it's good. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just annoying. After philosophical jargon. Yeah, yeah it just drags yeah. on a bit too much for my liking. Fuck it, we'll go to three. Three, you, you start off with, uh, I mean, I guess it's the, what do they call it? Like, crock pot cookout thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're all. Potluck? Yeah, potluck, basically. And they're all there to celebrate. But there's this other guy on the island who's the town drunk. And he's got this big ass like, Dog, bulldog. Yeah. And wait, 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 wait. Backstory on this guy. So he's a drunker of the island, right? Yeah. But this motherfucker was shooting randomly while he was drunk. Yeah. It happens to shoot. The kid, daughter though. of the mayor, which yeah. was a kid. She was like, what, nine? I don't know, really or something young. Something like that. Really young. Yeah. So she becomes paralyzed. She gets shot like dead back in the spine. Ooh. It's yeah. like a real bad shot. It's You're like, like you know, in X Men Origin? Yeah, like yeah, first yeah, class? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, so, you know, he's. So he's the whole not, town hates him. Yeah, he's not a bad guy. He just did something stupid. Stupid. Mm-hmm. And you're like, whatever. But he has this big dog, and, you know, big dogs are sometimes loud. Yeah. And the fucking religious lady hates him. So uh, she, what you see is the scene before, you see her cleaning out their pantry thing, and she grabs, like, rat poison. They talk about it. And then you see the scene of someone dropping a hot dog next to the dog, and then it cuts. Everyone's starting talking, having fun, and then you hear the man screaming in the background, and the fucking dog's like, this part of the, the jaw, uh-huh. like, s- is split open, and it's, like, just bleeding out poison. Okay. And, like, he just like eats. The poor baby just, just died. Yeah, tons of rat poison. Oof. And then the sheriff comes in, you know, he's like, he's like, oh, I'll try to figure out. And he, he pretty much figures out who did yeah. it. Yeah. And he, he goes up to her, he's like, oh, we're, we're looking for rat poison. We know you have some here, you know. She's like, oh, but anyone can get to it. It's what always a, open. What a shame <laughs> that would. Are you, are you saying that I did it? You know, being all condescending, yeah. and you're like, he's like, no, I can't say that. But you know, we're just saying. We're just and looking. Like, how do we know you didn't do it? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, okay, whatever. <laughs> oh God, you hate. You hate this person Dude. the whole fucking oh. show. She's such a bitch. She's one of those characters where if I ever meet in person, I'm like. Fuck you. <laughs> You're a great actor. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. It's like when you meet Joffrey, yes. like the kid. Yeah, like yeah. That. You're just like, she's such a good actor. Fuck you, but <laughs> god damn, you're good. Because the whole time, every time she talks, it's always like, Jesus, that religion did this. I'm better than you because I'm. Yeah, Jesus yeah. is number one, one, basically. I am the chosen one. Yeah. She thinks she's more important than almost than like the, the priest guy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like 90% of the time, you're like, just like, fuck off. <laughs> Go away, please. <laughs> someone she's shoot like always quoting scripture yeah, yeah. and shit. Like, I thought she was going to die earlier on. I thought someone was going to flip out and just shoot her. <laughs> but I'm just like, come on, guys, do it. <laughs> God, dude. Just so No, no God. That's girl. That's girl. That's girl. Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that all happens and then. Uh, you start seeing the priest. He, he he he's starting to get sicker and like he's getting like deficient and stuff. Yeah, yeah. and he like, like starts passing out. Yeah, he and passes shit. out during one of the the prayers yeah, yeah. and stuff. And Peter, they're like, "Oh, what's wrong?" He's like, "I don't know. I'm just feeling lightheaded and dizzy." And then uh, is that when? 
I'm trying to remember. Is that when the uh, AA meeting started in three? Oh, yeah, so this main character goes back to the mainland, like, once a week to do, like, an AA meeting. Okay. But instead, the priest is like, oh, we'll just set up an AA thing here. There's people, obviously, that needs it, like, you know, the drunken dude. And (laughs) it's so fucking awkward. Imagine imagine going to, like, you know, an AA meeting. But it's a one-on-one. It's one-on-one. With a like with a, a priest, priest. <laughs> <laughs> you're it's sitting there. You're awkward. like, oh my god, just, <sighs> just move on, just end this. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really good. Like the scenes are really good because yeah. it's a good back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Riley is atheist, like yeah, really yeah, yeah, atheist, yeah. and everything that you know, uh, the priest keeps bringing up. He's like, oh, that could be you know, God does this. He's like, oh, so God took the girl's life. I fell asleep at the royal. He took control, so he took her wife, is what you're saying? He's like, no, 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 no. And, you know, he's trying to, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. slam him at every moment, and you're like, but... He's priest- being, he's being like, the, 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 like, the atheist subreddit. Yeah, Like, yeah. checkmate Christians. Yeah, like pretty much. That cringy kind of fucker. Yeah. But, yeah, <laughs> very, yeah. yeah, but it makes okay. sense. It's a very good back and forth. Yeah, yeah, Either yeah. side, you look at it. But that's when uh, you just start to see him change. Like, you see his patience, to me, diminish. Yeah, he, even his just face or like his, his skin tone is different. Yeah, he is starting to get like lighter. Mm-hmm. But you learn. I think this is the episode you learn about the creature and about his backstory. They give you hints of it, like, oh, he, like he went to Jerusalem or whatever, yeah. and then he made a, a vampire shit. Uh, he thought it was an angel. Th- so this is the, the end of three is to me the best part of this show. Okay, so. It's it's literally he he goes to the the where you tell your sins he's yeah, yeah. the confession, confession chamber yeah. yeah so he goes up to that and he's so he's talking to God because no one's above him I guess he, he's confessing or whatever yeah but he's also telling you what the fuck happened yeah. so he's oh, confessing okay. he's like I'm sorry I have to lie to all these people yeah because yeah. no one knows that obviously he's the real guy yeah but from that what he learned is he's he's telling you so first off uh, he he was like oh. I was lost in Jerusalem. Yeah. Like, my brain started to go wrong. And I, I started to walk into the desert, but then this big sandstorm comes in. He's like, it cuts my eyes, cuts my skin. <laughs> and then he sees this, like, cave. Cave. It's like, you know, yeah, man-made yeah. cave, though. And he's like, it, it was a sign from God, so he goes in there for coverage. This, to me, is probably the best scene of the whole show. So he goes down there, and he's got matches for some reason. And he lights the match. He's looking around, and it's like this yeah. little cave. And then he's, you see something move really quick, and then like, he, he just passes yeah. out. And I'm the, like, wait, what the fuck the, was the, that? The match goes out, and then he lights another one. Or no, 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 no. You see the eyeballs first, yeah. and they blink. And you're like, oh, shit, and the, he drops the match. Then he lights. You're like, oh, lights another one. And you're like, jump scare. Here it comes. Lights it. Nothing. He's looking around, looking around. Nothing. The match. That buildup is pretty good, because it's like, it's dark, and yeah. you hear, like, jump, like, yeah. Trying to get him. You're like, oh, Because it, it's like five seconds to ten seconds before he lights it again. So you're like, in that time, the monster's going to be here, basically, or behind yeah, yeah. Are you expecting a yeah. jump scare? Lights it, nothing. Lights the third time. It's a fucking, like, it, it looks like a demon. Yeah. I don't yeah. know how he thinks it's a goddamn <laughs> angel. So it, fuck, it's, it's a, it, the angel goes yeah, the yeah. thing you expect the second time in his face and just fucking tackles him. And he's starting to, like, uh, I was killed at that, or not killed. I, yeah, I was, yeah. like, devoured by an angel. He took away my fears. Yeah, that's yeah. what he said. Uh, and so it basically is draining his neck. And then he's praying there after the angel or whatever you want to call yeah, it. The yeah, the vampire. Yeah. yeah. He's praying. And then the vampire, like, cuts himself and makes him drink his blood. Yeah. So he starts to he just starts to regenerate, basically, after yep. slowly time. So then he bec- you learn that he's been the priest the whole time and that he's part vampire. Like he doesn't have the sun issues or because he because he, he hasn't died yet. Yeah, he hasn't sparkle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he hasn't it, died yet. Yeah, it's like uh, I mean, I mean, Dracula. It's the same way, right? The yeah. yeah, yeah. So he Maybe gets younger. You know, yeah, he's cool. He doesn't sparkle yet, but we'll get to that. <laughs> <sometime. Yeah. laughs> but the, I just think that like how they were telling it because yeah, you have him praying. They do the flashbacks, and I like the wood carvings. Where it was like each step is oh, yeah, shown. Love, oh, okay. Oh. The episode three is really fucking good, especially because it starts with like a little bit of the backstory at, yeah, at yeah. first, and they give you a little bit more, 
And at the end, of the big reveal, like, it's him the whole yeah. time. And, and, you know, he's praying. He's like, oh, the angels, you know, come to kill yeah. me or whatever. But I'm looking at this thing. It's got, like, long claws, no, oh, yeah. pointy ears, fucking devil wings. And I'm like, this is not a fucking angel. There's no fucking feathers on this but shit. I what do the like fuck? how they... They justify it. You're like, you know, when you read the Bible and like, you see an angel and you're they're afraid. Of it because so it's yeah. a fucking yeah. godly beast. <laughs> Do not be afraid. Yeah. yeah. Especially if you're talking about, I mean, like the Daniel Ezekiel kind of type mm-hmm. angel where there's fucking eyes and oh, wheels yeah. and six wings <laughs> and yeah, yeah. All that you're bullshit. like, oh, that's not an angel. Yeah. <laughs> that's a demon. <laughs> Prove me wrong. <laughs> Prove me wrong. <laughs> yeah. But I think that's to me, like, once that episode happened, I was like, this is it. This is a great show. <laughs> this is fucking great. And that's when you learn, like, there's something in the wine when they do, like, the sacrament or whatever, communion. Yeah. And I'm like, ooh. Yeah, so he started to feed people yeah. blood. But I, I, so, he, so he brings the vampire over. In that box. In the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, don't yeah. notice it. It doesn't really tell it to you, but you kind of just, you know, context clues. Just put it together, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he brought it to help the other people or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he's in episode four. You don't know yet that he's putting blood in the wine. Yeah. yeah. But he's doing communion in episode four, and he's just telling like the the the, the, parent, the girl on the oh. wheelchair oh, yeah. to like get up, and the parents like, "Father, what are you saying? This is ridiculous. You know she can't walk." She's like, "No, walk or what? Like get up yeah, or whatever." Yeah. She's like, okay. Because yeah, he, he goes up to her yeah. with the bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he's the like, Eucharist. no. Like, she's going to grab it. He's like, no. Nah, not even. He, he climbs up the stairs. <laughs> he's like, come and get it. <laughs> like, damn. That's and everyone up. in the audience is like, what the fuck? This is fucked up. Yeah. And then she gets up. And everyone's like, oh, my God. It's miracles. a miracle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Praise <laughs> be him. You yeah. know, type of thing. And that's when, like, the, the church audience gets bigger like, yeah, yeah we're living in mir- miraculous days or whatever the fuck the fervor yeah yeah the fervor is, starts to brew i'll read the uh, it becomes talking. like the fucking that one the brazilian church yes yeah you know you know what i'm talking about yeah yeah, yeah yeah i don't remember the name of them i don't remember either but some like the that. ones with the big old stadiums <laughs> they're just like praise <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and then from yeah. then on Oh, so I, I'm gonna read some names real quick. Uh-huh. So episode one's called Book One Genesis. Book okay. two is uh, fuck. What is that one? P.S. Psalms. Oh, that's Psalms. That's Psalms. Mm-hmm. And then Proverbs is three. Yeah. And Lamin- lamentations. Lamentations. Lamentations is four. That's where we are basically. Are they all just? Then it's Bible uh, books. five is gospel. Oh. Six is Acts of uh, Apostles. Acts of the Apostles. Yeah. And then seven is Revelations. Yep. Oh, interesting. Yeah. When I read that, I'm like, man, this is going to be weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think from then on, then the, the girl that was pregnant finds she out loses. she's not pregnant. She was never pregnant. Yeah. Hoo hoo, or whatever. Like, she goes to the mainland and they're like. Well, she goes to her regular doctor. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, what the fuck? The baby's not here. You're not pregnant. And she's like, hey, what? what? Where'd my baby go? <laughs> she's like, let's take you to the mainland, do some blood work, blah, blah, blah. Goes to the mainland. And she's like, Ma'am, you were never pregnant. Why are you lying to yeah. us? Like, they have no no sign of pregnancy at all. Huh. And it's only been, like, a week. But there would have been record of pregnancy beforehand. Yeah, but it's on, on, the, a small, on, the, on the small oh. island. Oh. She never went to the big island. So they're like, we're going to bring you to a psych ward if you want to, like, just, you know, talk. Yeah. And she's like, no. Yeah. Go back to mainland or even, other land. She was like, yeah, I miss, I miss scary, apparently. She's like, no, because you still, your hormones would have told us that. Yeah. Yeah, your hormones you, would have been super high uh, or yeah. something. Yeah, and then no, nope, it shows you normal. You were never pregnant or whatever. So they make her seem like she's kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. But then you just, I, I think at this part. At this part, it's just hit, the main character and that girl yeah. bonding. Yeah. yeah. It's, okay. a, it's a long monologue episode yeah, about yeah. that's the death one i think what happens after death and yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're just like oh cool oh some random guy dies okay like this guy's the dumbest person on earth he's a drug dealer who <laughs> that guy <laughs> <laughs> he's just walking right here's a, a weird noise in an abandoned house i'm gonna go check it out hello anybody here another spooky scene nothing says nothing and then yeah. he hears something again walks in closer he sees the eyes I'm going to get closer. 
And he just and he all, you, all you see is he gets ripped out of the doorway, and then like the hat falls. And yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> like, Nobody looked for him. Yeah, no one cared for like nope. the longest time. Yeah, for like three like, more episodes. Yeah. And then they asked for about him. Like, oh yeah, I remember he's, him. Like, he's oh, dead. Oh, <laughs> I think it's like. I'm not sure if it was, like, the mother or, like, an aunt of his. He yeah. lives in the mainland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she's like, I haven't heard from him. No one really cares about him, but I care. And, you know. Yeah, yeah, The, the sheriff being the sheriff, he's like, I'll look into it. He's, like, writing shit down. And then they, Vampire. Yeah. They intru- no one expects they, that. They introduce more, um, like, religious conflict. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where... I f- I you have it. this Muslim kid. I hate this kid. Fuck this kid. He's so fucking dumb. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> So, you know, I think the Christian lady, Bev or whatever, yeah. is handing out Bibles at the school yeah. for them to, to read, to teach during school. So, obviously, they hold this meeting with the parents and the dude, the sheriff, who's a Muslim, he's like, hey, I don't mind or whatever that my kid reads the Bible or whatever, but it's just not like the right place and time right to time, do yeah. so. Yeah. It's like, how would you feel? If I brought the Quran and made everyone read it or whatever, you'd be upset, right? And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. She's like, no, no. I, I don't <laughs> care, basically. She's like, yeah, yeah it's the same. It's fine. And, then and he's just like very condescending to this man. And then that, then she gets the whole classroom riled up and like, yeah, fuck this guy. Well, kind Christianity. Of. I feel like you have like, it's like... 60 to 40, like yeah. 40%. Because you can see a lot of the people are still on his side. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, like, the teacher is the, was the pregnant lady, and she's uh-huh. also on his side. She's also like agnostic, atheist yeah, yeah, yeah. or something yeah. like that. Yeah. And she's like, I just shouldn't be taught. And, but, you know, the religious lady's like, no, no, it'll be good for everyone to learn and be part of Jesus. And I'm just God, like, I hate oh. those people so much. Oh, yeah. Dude, uh, she's, the whole show, whole show, uh, constantly. Like, you see her just walk by screen, and you're like, oh, there's a picture of Jesus. <laughs> just the Floating you're just flipping her off the whole time, like, fuck this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Worst best actress. <laughs> God, man. And then you keep getting, gl- like, glimpses of the old lady in the island. She keeps getting younger. And the makeup starts going away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck? This At first, guy, his back gets better. Yeah. Shit. Like, uh, like all the parents start to get a little yeah. younger. Yeah. Like, supposedly, when you become a vampire, it seems like you become your, your prime. prime age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so at the same time, uh, what's his name? Oh, so the guy who, <laughs> the dog guy. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Uh, he he starts going to AA meetings because the girl confronts him and says, he's like, I hated you, but now I forgive you. Yeah. And the only one that now has to forgive you is yourself. So he's like, you know, he breaks down. He starts going to AA. He starts to get better. But he one day he's talking to uh, the priest. Yeah. In his place, and he sees a picture of like the original church being built, and it's him. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's like, "Oh that, man, that's crazy! It looks exactly like, like you. you." Yeah. He's like, crazy. Oh, "That's crazy." <laughs> he's like, "He's like, oh, before you leave, I just want to give you a hug." So he, yeah. he starts hugging him. It's and he, that really long and uncomfortable hug. Yeah, it, it, it's like take, hugging someone for like five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's like, like okay. "Okay, okay, I had enough. No, <laughs> please, please." And then we're tidying. He slips, hits his head. Yeah, starts and he bleeding. fucking starts bleeding out. And, you know, he's like, oh, shit, I fucked up. But his hugger strikes at that moment. And he, he like, bends down to help him. Or it looks like he's yeah. going to help him. But he, like, grabs the blood. And he's like, starts licking it. And he goes, like, drinking it. And that's when I think he starts to become vampire. The episode before, he did die. Is it the episode before? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I that, that, that's why I think that when I saw that, that's what triggers it. Yeah. Yeah. Because he, he drank, he like got poisoned or something. I, like I guess they show it for a slight glimpse, the poison again. Uh-huh. But they never like explain who did it. I could see the the crazy religious lady because mm-hmm. he he starts to talk like the priest starts to talk back to her. And yeah. she's like, "Fuck you! I'm gonna I guess kill you." I guess comes really out of nowhere in my mind. Like I'm the main bitch in the island. Yeah, but then he comes back to life and. She's like, oh, my God, it must be Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he died in front of, like, four people. Uh-huh. And he came back, and then everyone was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, and then, you know, that's when he's, he can't go in the sun anymore. Yeah. So mass is closed, like, no more mass. Oh, he, so he eats that drunkard, and he doesn't show up to mass. So the, the lady goes to his house to see what the fuck happened, like, if he's okay. And then he sees him in the corner. He sees the dead body. He's covered in blood. He's like, 
Okay, okay. We can fix this. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, just get up. We'll clean you up and we'll, you'll go outside. He's like, I can't. I can't. He puts his Shh. hand in the sun for like a half a second. He like burns. And she's like, okay, okay. okay. We'll just cancel it today just and cancel. we'll figure something out. So like, they bring the mayor and this other guy here. Like, and they're like, oh, what happened? Like, we'll take care of this. You guys take care of the body. Dump it out there. <laughs> Put like an anchor to it. Yeah. And we'll never find him. No yeah. one ever know. That's what they do. Oh, they like just fucking dump him. Now, like, four people are part of this, like... Yeah, little conspiracy. Circle. Yeah, oh, this, my God. They in the new. <laughs> it's so fucked up. But this is when you get the main character again. He comes back for, like, the late night mass. Or, like, sorry, the late night, like, conversation. Because yeah, yeah. he wanted... Because the priest told him that the drunkard went to go see his sister. But his, his sister, sister was already died, dead. died, like, a so week ago. And he, the, the, those were the only two that know yeah. that yeah, knew yeah. about it. So, so he's like, wait a minute. He's like, he lied to me. So he's going to confront him at night. Yeah. And at that moment, you know, the priest is freaking out because he's, like, blood hungry and stuff. And uh, the, he, They were out of blood yeah. for the communion or whatever. And the guy, and the, the angel came back to give it. So he's all dressed up in, like, black coat with the, the hat. Yeah. And he walks in, and he's like, what the fuck? Who's that? And the fucking... Vampire just jumps on him. See, but this guy, he wasn't going to go there in the first place. He was going to go to the ladies' house. Yeah. They were going to fuck. They were. Well, in my head, they were going to fuck. Because, I mean, who goes to someone that's that late at night? Okay. Anyway, he's like, no, I'm going to confront the father. Because fuck this guy. And then he gets fucked by the angel. But then, so he's bleeding out. And they give him the blood. And they have, like, a half episode of, like, they're in that same room during the day. He's like, you can't go outside. You can't. He goes outside. He's like burning him to death. They rip him back inside. He's like, there's change. <laughs> and they have like a whole half a day of conversations about stuff. But I like how they did it in this episode because you see him, he get attacked at the end of the episode yeah. and that's it. Right. You're like, oh shit, what happened? So in the next episode, you see him at the beach. He's talking to the girl like, hey, let's, let's go watch the stars together or whatever on a boat in the middle of the ocean. I'm like, okay, cool. And that's when he tells you this what happened that oh, night. Okay. Yeah. And then they go into like that back. It's like a flashback yeah, yeah. to just a few hours ago. Yeah. It's, it's done really good. It's really good. Yeah, like, so the priest allows him to leave, but the, the crazy lady's like, no, we shouldn't let him leave. Yeah, you should leave He's him there. He's not ready. Or He's whatever. not ready, yeah. So he tells, he brings the girl out into the ocean or whatever yeah. it is. And he's like, I got to tell you something. You're not going to believe it. They tell He tells him the story. She's like, oh, you're pulling my chain, basically. You're and here then, to scare me or something. And then she's like, so let's say what you're saying is true. So you bring me here where I can't go and run away, yeah. right? I was like, well, she's going to eat her, dude. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. And he's like, no, I did this so I can't run away. And then the sun goes up. And dead. he fucking dies. Oh, dude. <laughs> I was like thinking, I'm like, dude, that girl, imagine seeing that. Just seeing a person just burst into flames in the sun. His bone melts, like everything. I'm like, what the fuck? That scream is really, that's the last thing on that episode. It's just a scream. It's like a loud scream, but it does the loud and then it fades. Yeah, yeah. It rips it back. And I'm like, oh, man, that pulls you really, really hard. I'm like, it's a good episode. And we're watching it and we're like, dude, what would you do if you saw that? Someone just bursts into flames in front of you. After like, saying vampire stuff. Yeah. She goes back to town. She's like, it's time to fight. She, <laughs> she goes to the doctor like, hey, you know, vampires. And she's like, yeah, vampires. This blood mer- melts in the sun. I know, I believe you or whatever. Yeah. And the oh, mother shit. believes them too yeah. now because yeah. she's like she's fucking. like six she's years hot. younger. She's yeah. pretty hot. Yeah. I'm like, I like the shame. Yeah. <laughs> I'd fuck this grandma. Yeah. <laughs> like 75 at this point, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> God, dude. What else happens? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to, trying to figure out what happens before it just all goes to, to shit. To, uh, so they're like talking about it. And oh, they start doing mass at like midnight. midnight. Yeah, yeah, midnight. Hey, hey. Oh, you set the shot, man. Oh my god. Um, and it's right before like East Easter. Yeah, yeah. Easter weekend or whatever the fuck. Um, so they all go to mass, even, even the even the sheriff. Yeah, yeah, yeah everybody. Yeah, he's the, the dumbass, he's dumbass kid. <laughs> I feel so bad for the sheriff, man. He, because you know the whole time you see him, every, every scene you see yeah. him normally, he's doing the 
where you pray to the east, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's praying on the mat and yeah. stuff, and his son was doing it for a while. He's like, I don't want to do it anymore because I want to be with my friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to yeah. be Christian, like yeah. my friends. Yeah, basically because he's like, dude, she could walk again, so God must be real in this Christian community. <laughs> or like, God is fake. Yeah, and he has like a whole like 20 minutes, like the father breaking yeah. down telling him, he's like, your, my mother, like your mother yeah. died because of like, cancer you want to know how it happens i want to tell you blah, blah blah he's like where was god to save her and blah blah, blah. and he just does this whole yeah, fucking yeah. spiel and it's like really dark Oof. you're the better about it <laughs> yeah and he's like okay whatever you can do what you want i won't be happy about it and we can talk about it later and then he starts going to church blah 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 and then it is or almost the Christmas Easter Easter <laughs> and they're like okay I, I want to go to the midnight yeah, yeah. mass he's like I would love it if you came to like to his dad and he's basically like okay sure I'll come why not what's gonna happen oh, they, <laughs> were, they all drink the Kool-Aid they were, hold up. they were looking for the Riley guy yeah but nobody seen him and they think he, he left letters yeah. Before he, he died. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. So they thought he committed suicide. Yeah, because right. he left three letters. Yeah. One to his dad. Yeah. One to his mom. And He's, the, the and dad's story is great. And like the, the reduction. Yeah. yeah. Oh, his brother. I forgot what yeah. it was. His mom's like it's just a sad, sad story. But he leaves one to the priest. Like, he names it as the old priest. And he's like, oh, I don't know who to give it to. Like, the father gives it to the priest. And he's like, oh, I'll look at it and I'll send it to him. He fucking opens it up, and it's uh, it's the saying that they've been doing the whole time. It's um, uh, the the sand one or the dust one. Like everyone turns back. Oh, from ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Yeah. yeah, and it says that, and he looks at it. He crumples it up, all pissed off, and I'm like, damn, that's a spiteful fucking message. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's spicy. But yeah, then she eventually tells the 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 mom like, your son is dead. And she's like, fuck you, he's not dead. How dare you say that to me? Blah 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 blah. All like. Offended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they go to mass. And then they all go to mass because they can't leave because, like, all the boats are yeah, like, yeah. thing. The power is starting to go out. So, like, oh, we'll just go to mass. Like, we should. Got all the sermons in the. Because you see the sermon when they go yeah, to yeah. mass. And they're so shitty, dude. All of them. Are, all <laughs> like, of them. Oh, are that's shitty. so bad. It's all town's ass. There's, like, two good guys. The priest. He's got a big redemption arc. It's like. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I can think of certain examples. Uh, movie wise, have you guys ever seen The Crucible? Mm hmm. That's the vibe. Mm -hmm. That's is. the vibe I get. Have you ever seen The Crucible? <laughs> think Do you know it. what The Crucible is? It's like two hours of this. <laughs> so <laughs> The Crucible, I mean, it's a play, right? Yeah. It's about the Salem witch trials. Uh -huh. um, and obviously, it's supposed to be an allegory from, um, uh, what's it called? The Red Scare in the U.S. and all yeah, this yeah, other yeah. stuff. But the point is, it, it's about, you know, it's this Puritan group of people. And it's like the prosecution of like witches and the pointing the fingers. Mm -hmm. And it's the same religious fervor. <laughs> and like all the cool people get killed by the by the mob mm -hmm. because, you know, they're trying to spit reason and stuff <laughs> like this. They're like, there's no fucking, reason. There's What's no that? fucking witch. There's only this chick that's fucking everybody. And now they all <laughs> believe her. <laughs> God damn it. And I mean, it's the same. It's that same level of like frustration yeah. with just like the mob and that, that mentality and like the way that religious fervor just takes over mm -hmm. like people's mind, that weird tribalism the that just does not let people see logic. Yeah. <laughs> it's just mind boggling to me that they saw this guy eat this other guy and they're like, yeah, this is God's will. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah, let's hide God, the body. This it's is fine. what God wanted. Yeah, you well, it's, I mean, it's he wanted out. him to eat. God yeah. wanted him to eat this. I guy. mean, it's it's confirmation <laughs> bias, right? Uh, well, it, it's like a weird mixture of where does your brain, where does your mind go when it's so afraid? Yeah, right. Because mm. I th and I think that's the same thing with the main priest, uh -huh. right? Like you know, he sees this creature, and like there's it, there's a primal there's a primal instinct almost to like worship greatness, Wait. right? Whether, you know, that'd be nature, like, you know, like the sun. He's basically a god. Yeah. Like, it's legit. He's how, I don't even know how old that fucker is. He's yeah. probably thousands Mario. of years. So, yeah. we, so you think of a supernatural being as something just, like, as they say, like, you know, the actual meaning of the word awesome. Like, something that just gives so much thing. Aw. <laughs> and you have, like, a person that meets a creature like this in the fear of, I am going to die. <laughs> and this creature... Kind of fits what I think, you know. Angel. An yeah, that is. Like, wings? Yeah. Is scary? Yeah, and then, and like, and you're so afraid of this thing. I mean, in, in, 
that fear of preservation of life. You're like, yeah, this is this is the thing I worship. I mean, it did cure him. But yeah, it cured him of old age it's and everything. And disease. You just have to drink blood every so often. Yeah, you got to drink a creature's blood. <laughs> Right. And I think that's that's what everyone has. Is like everyone has this like confirmation is of deeply ingrained religious beliefs, and then when they're confronted with something that's bigger, something they don't understand, that's their that's where they go back to. Wow. That's their safety net because they never built anything otherwise mm-hmm. to confront something yeah. like this. Because they think it's I'm the strongest, and then above me is God. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing between me and God. Yeah, exactly. And, and I mean, there's the thing is like I see this thing. Right, this thing. I mean, it's powerful. It does the things that you know. You, you this has told me it's supposed to do. Sure, it's creepy. Sure, this guy's <laughs> dead. I don't want to die. <laughs> yeah, this guy was a drunkard. Nobody wanted. Yeah, exactly. Him. He deserved. He deserved that? it, right? Because yeah. and then you know, your brain, the logic starts to go into victim blaming and all this <laughs> other stuff. And you're just like, yeah, this, this, you know, this is the thing. This is what we follow, right? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Shit was crazy. Dude. That's what it becomes. It's, it's just that fear. And you have this weird dogma as you're like, as your as you're like your baseline. And because that is your baseline, when you go back to it, I mean, it's hysterical. I mean, it's no one thinks right when you're confronted with something like this <laughs> and it's just amplified by extreme belief. <laughs> and then there happens to be a vampire. <laughs> no, no, no. He's God. He's an angel. No. <laughs> be not afraid. Oh, uh, yeah, because we might as well just go into the fucking craziness because I can't think of anything. That happens I definitely love that room. episode, dude. So it basically starts off, you know, they're all in church and he's starting to starting to go a little crazy. Like yeah, the, he's know. shitty ass. Or, like, I feel like there's more like, I don't know, like emotional yeah. or like uh, better sermons out there. But just this one, I think he's ran a little shitty. Yeah. Very aggressive. <laughs> it's very, very aggressive. <laughs> he's like talking stuff and, you know, he starts passing out fucking the Kool-Aid basically. Wait, wait, wait. Because this is before the... Guy, no, right? he introduces. Does he introduce that before? Yeah, he's like, and then there was this angel, blah blah blah, blah and then Jesus, blah blah. Because like, he but tells he comes everyone through. who he is too. Yeah, and then he does the big review, like I am the Monsignor or whatever. Yeah. Like, oh my god, what? When the angel came through, though, I was like, this is a great scene because at this point you have the angel dressed up in the white yeah. robes, and I'm like. I can't believe this. A, this vampire is like, yeah, dude, this I got you, bro. I this is you. cool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you look, this is the funnest I've had. <laughs> yeah, this is the funnest I've had in millennia. He <laughs> was like, I've been in a cave. Fuck yeah, look at these white robes. <laughs> <laughs> look at this dumbass. <laughs> but yeah, dude. And then you know they see that they're like, oh my god, that's fucking crazy. He's an angel. And then the sheriff is like, what? No, I'm going to pull out my gun. <laughs> like, sheriff, that sheriff. bitch ain't no fucking angel. Oh, yeah. he's, he's like what I said when I first saw him. That's a demon. <laughs> yeah, that's a <laughs> demon. that mother. <laughs> so he pulls out his gun. Everyone's like freaking out. He shoots in the sky. Yeah. And, you know, saying it's, it's a real gun. I, I like, well, I like how the vampire here is treated only as a force of nature more yeah. than like an actual entity. It, it doesn't do much. Yeah. Like, it just f- fucks shit up here and there, kind of. Yeah, because when you think of, you know, vampire, right? It usually has its motive or whatever it wants to do to feed or... It just wants to live. Yeah. Turn you know. everyone to vampires, it seems. Yeah, but I mean, like, this one, it never speaks. Nope. Right? Nope. It says no fucking words. Yeah. It does, like, hand gestures. And, yeah. You know. It never speaks or anything. Like I said, it's just, like, this force of nature that, it, that people have forgotten about that exists in it's the God's dark. God's will. God's will. <laughs> that exists in the dark. <laughs> but it's pretty interesting because this scene, like, you know, you see him and everyone's freaking out. He pulls yeah. out the gun. People start to wrestle with him because they're like, oh, don't shoot my angel. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. So he drops the gun and everyone starts drinking the fucking Kool-Aid. His son fucking drinks it first, which is, like, the most depressing. He was, yeah, he was the first one to drink it. He was like, yeah. this is God's will. Yeah, cause and, he, and they're pinning him to the floor. He's like, you fucked up. Yeah, he's dude. like, don't do it. Don't do it. He drinks it. You know, it's poison. The kid dies. And, you know, 90% of out. these people drank the... Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. No, I th- no, it's le- way less. Way less? It's like 50%. So what happens is, so like, 50% drink it. Yeah. They, they, well, they see him die, and you know, half of them, like, oh, it's God's will to kill myself, I guess. And the other half's like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Are you stupid? <laughs> So the oh, wait 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 a little bit back, the old lady grabs the gun from the floor. No, it's not the old lady. It's the pregnant lady. 
No, it was the old lady. Was it the old lady? Yeah, because then the vampire takes her out and it fucking kills For her. For some reason, I was a, no, no, it doesn't kill Oh, it, it does, does kill the her. Old, yeah, the yeah. old lady picks up the gun and shoots the priest in the head. Yeah. And he dies, right? And then the vampire's like, what the fuck? Takes her out of the building. Fucking. The just vampire does say something there. He goes, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and then she, he fucking seismic tosses her and she dies. Yeah, pretty much. You're like, damn, she got fucked out of yep. the building. And then, so people start to come yeah. back, but they become blood hungry. So the they close the doors, lock everyone in. Yeah. I think, uh, so everyone who... I don't think it was supposed to go down like this. No. But <laughs> because the priest was... Shot. It, it was shot, so he was passed out. Yeah. The, the crazy lady took over. Yeah. She's like, yeah, let's just let them eat them. It's fine. Yeah. So they start eating. So the people who didn't drink yeah. it get killed by the by the by people. the vampires. Yeah. But the pe- but they come back anyway because they already had the the vampire the, the blood, blood in, in them. them. Yep. So the ones that already had the blood come back from death, and the one that are just there because you know they got fucked basically. They die, die. But so the our main characters run away. Yeah. So you have the the sheriff, uh, pregnant lady, teach or a doctor, the doctor, and then oh, like two kids, the two kids, and then the, the, the paralyzed paralyzed one girl, and, the and then you have yeah. well, whoever the other the, priest boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they the escape. Boy. Everyone else fucking dies, but they meet. They go into just like the back room. And they see fucking crazy lady there because she doesn't want to fucking die, you know. <laughs> and the fucking uh, pregnant bitch is like, fuck you, and shoots her. <laughs> I was like, yeah! yeah. I'm like, yeah. Finally! Yeah. Well, then she left. She's, she's going to come back in like five minutes. I didn't think about yeah. that. <laughs> she came back. I'm like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I thought it was over. <laughs> vampire. <laughs> she's a vampire. She's not worse now. <laughs> And they, she opens all the doors, and they start fucking wrecking havoc, and she's just sitting back. The only people that don't, like, I know the people who didn't drink with blood that got fucked was the mother and father of... Of Riley. But the mother left. Oh, okay. The father got fucked, and he died, but he he had his senses still. Yeah. So he's just, you see him walking through town, like, the, all those vampires are out now, they're going in people's houses that aren't, like, yeah. the religious ones and just eating them. Oh, yeah. yeah they're just taking people out. But they don't bring them back because, A, they don't. They don't have the blood. Yeah. Oh, they do. They just don't know they could. <laughs> oh. Because there's one scene where uh, one of the guys who knew about the vampires early on brings back this guy's, one of his friends who wasn't religious. Yeah. Oh, he's like, I don't want to be a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know what's going on, but he, the guy who brought back killed his family, but didn't know he could bring them back. Oh. So they all died, and he feels super bad about it. And it's, it's like, you see the... The realistic side yeah, yeah. of all of this. Oh, there was this kid. He feels guilty because he killed his mother. He killed his mom. It's that. It's that guy right there. Yeah, he's the curly haired. He yeah. like comes to after you know his yeah, husband yeah. has been satiated. And he's like, "Bro, I killed my mom." Yeah, it's all fucked up. It's fucked up. And then the priest wakes up around this point, and he's like, "What the fuck is going on?" Bro, hold up. Riley's mom has like the biggest brain, because obviously, so they got smoked out of their. their Little Hide hidey up. hole. Um, so they have to go run away. And they're like, okay, we can't all run away because we can't stop them. Biggest brain. I'm going to go out and kill myself in front of them. Oh, man. Dude, that scene. Fuck. <laughs> the scene is so good. So she comes out with the knife and it's the crazy chick and some other dude. Other dude. He's, so, he was okay. He's a honcho guy. Yeah. yeah. But he, she comes out and she's like, oh, what's the knife for, for us? Like, you're going to stab us? She's like, you, no. Do, what do you think you're going to do? <laughs> nah, nah, you? nah. <laughs> And so, so she's starting to talk shit. She's like, you know, you think you're God's number one person, but, you know, we're all fucking equal. God loves all of us. You may think God <laughs> loves you the most, but in his eyes, we're all equal. And, you know, she starts talking. It's constantly yeah, yeah. shit to him. Like, this is a great scene. Yeah. I love watching, yeah, you watching her get demoted. They put her in her place. Uh-huh. Yeah. And she's like, well, fuck you. And she just stabs her neck and does this. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's like rough. It's rough. And she falls down and they're like, what the, what the they're fuck? They're like, why she do that? I don't know. Let's and eat they, start eating, they start eating the blood. <laughs> they leave. She comes back to life because she was going to yeah. be a vampire anyway. That's the biggest brain dude. That, that, bought her, that bought the other people so much uh-huh. time. Because, because, because they the just like, satiation well, we're, not, we're not going to yeah. waste this yeah. fresh yeah. blood. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they, and then you see the mother and father reunite, and they're like, "Oh, this is this is just my blood." Like they didn't yeah, yeah. Do anything. 
Real good people. Yeah, Feel bad for like, them. I'm hungry, but like I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like starvation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What they're feeling, but but I was like, damn, this is wholesome and <laughs> sad at the same time. Yeah. But at that point, I'm pretty sure the only people left alive is the hospital chick, the pregnant chick. And the then sheriff. the sheriff and the two kids. Two, two kids, kids go on a boat. We'll, yeah, we can skip most of it. Yeah, go on a boat. They stay out there until morning. Yeah, but then you have the other three. They start burning. Oh, oh. <laughs> forgot. So <laughs> crazy bitch is like one of the houses catches on fire because they threw the Molotov and they're like, oh, should we put this out? And they're like, no, the the church will be fine because last time the island burned down, the church was fine because of the yeah, yeah. wind bullshit. So they're like, oh, it's from God. So they're like, we should burn all the stuff down so we kill everyone, basically, yeah. and not deal with it. So they do that. They burn the island, and the church is still church yeah. and uh, clubhouse. Like the community center. Yeah, yeah. It's still where, where they're going to sleep because they set up beds in yeah, there yeah. to protect themselves from the, the so, dawn. Yeah. So they, they're, no one's at the church, and uh, the priest is there, but he's, like, outside. And he turns around to come back inside, and he sees the doctor fucking throwing... Uh, gasoline on the whole church and he looks at it, he's like good wait wait wait, wait, wait. before uh, everyone's dead in the island they come back to the community and they're like what do we do now oh, yeah, <laughs> we already ate there's no one alive they're like this is where we'll you know take refuge uh, but there's not enough beds so then they're like well how do we choose who's the chosen ones and then you know she starts going all religious and she's like well you didn't come to church, so fuck you. <laughs> yeah, right? just like start kicking people yeah, out, basically. Yeah, so then the priest shows up and like, well, everyone's welcome at the church or whatever. Yeah. And this is for God, not for, yeah. you know, yeah. all this bullshit. And that's when he's like, Dude, his, his, his daughter, <laughs> just throwing gasoline over the you church. You find out at this point that his daughter was the... Uh, the doctor. Yeah. We, we always knew, yeah. like, and, they fucked. And the old lady <laughs> was his wife. Oh, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah, wife, yeah, but yeah. could be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they had a baby, and you're like, oh, this is interesting. Like, you know, this is where you see his, like, when pe when you saw people dying, you saw his character do a fucking 180 really quickly, and I think it redeems him, like, <laughs> 100%. He did. I'm like, fuck this guy. He's a little crazy, but I can deal with him. <laughs> and then he did the 100% turn. I'm like, God tier character. God -tier. I love this guy. <laughs> yeah, because then he's all, like, having a conversation with his... Could have been wife. Yeah. Like, oh, I would have left the church immediately if you would have told me, like, hey, let's go get married or whatever. Yeah. But then, you know, she got pregnant and she went up with this other guy. And he's like, well, I'll just be a priest, I guess. Yeah, just so be a, a little secret. Uh, <laughs> been there forever. And you learn, like, because in one of the scenes during the potluck, he's like, the priest always looks at me weird and I don't like it. <laughs> and, you, you know, it's because it's his yeah. daughter, basically. And mm -hmm. Whatever. But... And he's all like, you know, I'm sorry I wasn't there while you're growing up, but I love you, blah, blah, blah. You turn out great. Go ahead, burn this church. <laughs> like I'm proud. <laughs> Bam. And then she gets shot. And then she gets shot by some other dude. And he's like, what? He's like, what the fuck you? And then he lights the church on fire yeah. himself, basically. Well, he, and then he tries to bring her back. He's like, well, you drink this oh, blood. Yeah. She's like, nah. She spits it out. Spits it out. And then she dies. Yeah. And then he lights the church on fire, grabs the body and the... Him and his wife basically just yeah. walk out, and they're like, oh, no, the church is on fire. What are we going to do? Like, we still have this clubhouse. And then you turn around, the sheriff is <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the crazy lady shoots him in, like, the leg. Yeah. And, he, and she's like, oh, you fucking terrorist. And, you know, going yeah, you, all yeah. racist on this like, well, what, you going to eat me now? No, you fucking dirty blood. I was like, yeah. oh, oh yeah, shit. okay. <laughs> And he's like, he's like, you know what? She's like, what are you going to do? You're injured. You can't move. He's like, but I'm not alone. And you see the the pregnant lady fucking doing the gas. And, <laughs> and she's about to throw it, but she gets tackled by the vampire. So she loses the, yeah. the, the lighter. The lighter. And then fucking uh, the, the fucking kid shows up. Redeemed. The, redeems the, himself, too. He did redeem himself. Redeems he picks him. it up. Looks at the people. Like, he just lights the <laughs> shit on fire. He's like, from my dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it burns down. She's like, oh, no. that's." He's like, where can we hide? Maybe there's a town. He's like, no, we burned it all. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that was with her. Like, we burned, you said to burn everything, so we can't hide anywhere. Like, what about the boats? Oh, they're fucked, too. <laughs> they burned the boats. The other people yeah, yeah. burned the boats, and they're all like, what are we going to do? 
I guess we'll go towards the sunlight and just watch ourselves die. <laughs> GG over, G-G basically. GG over. I'm like, ah, you dumb bitch. Yeah. Why would you just burn everything? Yeah, so basically during this part, you see the pregnant lady getting feasted on. Yeah. She rips up the wings because, uh-huh. like, you've seen a scene before when the monster's eating. It doesn't give a shit about anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it gets shot at at one point. And yeah, it's so like, funny, Ugh. dude. They're like, yeah, he gets shot or, like, she's cutting his wings. And he's like, hey, what was that? And she's like, no, come here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So she just fucking names the fuck out of him. Yeah. He barely can fly and shit. But, uh, oh, damn, I blinked out. Oh, yeah. So they all start going towards the, the sunlight. Yeah. And it, to me, it's where you get the redeeming arcs of a lot of characters. Like the, the priest and the girl and the wife are together in like their own spot. The whole community comes together. They start singing. Yeah. And then you see um, Ali, right? Uh, the and kid the, and his dad, they're like they're praising. The, yeah, they're, yeah. they're doing the the, yeah. the their morning prayer or whatever. Oh, I feel so bad for the uh, the sheriff at this point because he's got so he's got two shots. He got shot in the leg, yeah, and one in, in the, the stomach. In the stomach. So he's doing. He's on like his yeah, yeah. son brings him to the sand, and they're doing the bow, stand, bow, and he's just on his knees. And then just before the sun comes up, he like bows and collapses. And he dies. He dies. So he doesn't see his kid die. Which yeah. I thought he was gonna see I his thought kid that die. Was I was like, "Plus fuck. Yeah, but he died. I'm like, "Damn it! He's my favorite <laughs> character. And he died." And then the kid just, you know, he fucking melts. Yeah, he just fucking lights on fire. The whole town lights on yeah. fire. Yeah. At this point, you see the crazy lady. She's in the sand. Yeah. Fucking and she she freaks the fuck out, and she's like. She's digging a hole like I don't know, to yeah. ostrich herself probably. <laughs> That's the only thing I can picture. <laughs> That's what I was, the whole time was just like, why didn't you just make a hole? Or you fucking hide hours. Be- go behind like a big set of trees that are yeah, probably like, somewhere bro, on the I'm island. Like, I saw a bridge somewhere in this island. You just go underneath yeah. it. Yeah, no, they burned it. It's done. <laughs> 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 they're, they're dumb, but they all just. I did like how they were um, singing the Near My God to the yeah, yeah, song yeah. or whatever. It was very fitting. Pretty wholesome, mm-hmm. and they all died. I, <laughs> everybody I great, everybody yeah. does. Can you see at the end the uh, vampire flying away, and they're like, "That's thirty miles. I don't think he's gonna make it." <laughs> and you're like, "Ah, oh, he's dead." Because basically, when he says that, the sun kind of comes up, and then sh- the girl goes paralyzed again. Yeah. Like, so we think like I, I think out. that so if the vampire dies. You probably lose all the you know, effects. Yeah, yeah so maybe that's why. I mean, that's, like, that's the rule, right? That's I, that's supposed to be the rule, that's, right? That's what I thought. That's yeah. how I pictured it. Yeah. I'm unsure. It doesn't you know, explain it, but you yeah, know. Va- the, vampire the, died. The original plan, I guess, was before the midnight mass, they took in all the boats, so the people that were already in that in the hey, they're vampires. Let's get out of here. Uh, they couldn't leave, so they were gonna turn everybody in. And then they were going to sail out or whatever the following and night. And start to spread. spread. Yeah, yeah. 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 But they were trying to contain it as much as they could. Yeah. Which they did a pretty they good did job. Pretty yeah, good. they killed yeah. everyone. Like, wow, it's fucking three people just saved the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> or did they? <laughs> what if there's more? What if? We never know. What, what if, if that vampire made it? Who made that vampire? Maybe he's not the first. Maybe there's another cave with Maybe another Maybe there's priest. more. <laughs> <laughs> there's an underground <laughs> vampire, vampire lair. scene. <laughs> And they're all next to suitcases that can drag them to the next realm. Yeah, imagine checking out the airport. Yo, man, check this box. <laughs> Sir, you got some? No, I don't. No, no, no. no. I don't. don't. You open it. It's just die. a box full of dirt. <laughs> dirt. Yeah, this pretty is much. holy dirt from Jerusalem. <laughs> What's that, like, skeleton thing? Don't worry about it. Why is it moving? Don't worry about it. Because I don't even think wait. it travels in the dirt. What? Wait, wait, wait. What did you what? say? Well, like... Well, I don't know. My, the vampire like, myth that needs to have the dark no, I know, I know, I know, homeland, I know, I know. Saying? But maybe it did like the, the Dracula thing, you know? Because in Dracula, he had like seven boxes, all with his dirt. So he spread them around everywhere, so he <laughs> oh, didn't have to travel yeah. in just one box. Yeah. Oh, big brain. Mean. That's big brain. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. There's you're like right. checkpoints just where a fucking box is. <laughs> yeah, because I think I think in Dracula, the way it works, he has one of his familiars puts his boxes and properties yeah. that he's bought all over London, uh-huh. and then he goes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that way he doesn't have to travel and lug the box around. He's like, it's easy. Yeah, he just, he, just, he, just, he, just, he travels in the boat yeah. and kills everybody. Yep. Smart. Smart. Yeah. yeah. But I do like the show. Overall, I think it's like a yeah. nine point five. So, for me. So, that's why I was gonna rate it. <laughs> I, I said the only issues I had was the slow dialogue that it was needed, but yeah. sometimes it literally dragged on for like 10, 15 minutes about like life and yeah. Jesus. It's meant and to feed the theme. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense for the yeah. show. It just 
You know, it's after a little, a little overdone. After ten, seven, eight hours of it, you're like, I understand. <laughs> I know where we're coming from. We can we're just. I mean, it's move I, a little bit. Honestly, it's like like it's like it's just another fun, you know, take on the whole vampire. I I did not expect it. Instead, of, I yeah, watched yeah. it thinking it was gonna be religious horror, like it demon started or off, something like that. Yeah, because yeah. you had the demons, and I'm like, oh, you know, this makes sense. And then the vampire was like, what the fuck? I love the take of vampire into religion. Right? Yeah, you know, it makes yeah. sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. Well, I texted Check you something. on episode three uh-huh. after all the shit went down. Yeah. I texted you, I'm like, this is a good show. I haven't finished it, but you should be watching it. He's like, oh, I'm on the last episode. I'm like, perfect. <laughs> I'll finish perfect. it by the time. I mean, I heard starts. it was good, but I looked at it. And I, I mean, I, I thought it scratched that part of horror that uh, well, that's why doesn't this, sit very well for me. This yeah. year was like, I want to tell you it's a really good show <laughs> that you can watch it because it didn't hit yeah, that hard. Yeah. But there's no way I could tell you that without you not believing yeah. me. It's like when you tell me something spicy or not spicy. <laughs> when it's, and it's a ghost pepper. <laughs> and I'm like, no, that's spicy. I understand. But it's the same thing. That yeah. I was like, I'm like yeah, I want to tell you it, <laughs> but I don't want to spoil yeah, it. It is what it is. But, I mean, I, I always love like it, like vampire stories to me are always so interesting because they're, they're always about like the deeper parts of like, humanity like mm-hmm. i mean whether what dracula was and how dracula is just a way for you know a victorian author to get around like sexual censorship yeah or stuff like that but like it, it, it always brings out like i guess the the very primalness of what you know what makes us human right with this mm-hmm. creature that's supposed to live for like ever Right. Like one of my favorite Stephen King stories is his vampire one, which is Salem's Lot, because yeah. <laughs> it's so well done. But better than Dracula. Uh, I mean, well, Salem's Lot or this show. <laughs> um, I mean, Dracula has uh, its. Um, Dracula's really good. It's very good. But I mean, I because I mean, I understand the book does have certain criticisms, like to like it's of course there's like it's Dra- all the time. Dracula- I'm not a fan of how it's written. Yeah, that's not. fine. That I mean, sense. Dracula has a really good beginning, a really good like kind of middle-ish section, yeah. and then and the end or, is, it, it, yeah, it's not great. <laughs> just like, <laughs> just like Stephen King book. No, oh, oh my god! Yeah, just like, just like the Netflix Dracula. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Did you watch that? Yeah, yeah. Dracula. The show? BBC one. Is it BBC? Is BBC made it? Uh, it's. I yeah. would say episode one and two. Uh huh. 10 out of 10. Last episode, garbage? Last episode, (laughs) 1 out of 10. Wow. It's so fucking bad. Because 1 and 2 follow the books. Uh It goes from his beginning arc where you meet him. Yeah, with with Jonathan Harker and all that stuff. And then the second one is the boat arc, which is really good. Yeah, yeah. So where they go? The like, boat sinks, I think. Yeah, the boat sinks. Yeah, and he locks himself in his chest. The chest gets pulled out of the water. Uh In the future. In the present day. Oh, so he, I com- like that. he comes out and there's like fucking helicopters. Like they know he was there. Uh-huh. He's like great. Like there's this girl you see throughout the whole thing that's yeah. like chasing him. Kind of. Uh-huh. You see his great 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 granddaughter. It's the same fucking actress. Uh-huh. It's just, you know, future. Yeah, yeah. It's future. He's like, oh, I finally got you. And there's like a whole warehouse they're storing him in and all that shit. Oh, no. And he starts like he escapes. He's starting to fuck people. He's like. Weird stuff going on. Like, you learn about vampires. Like, some of them get buried, and they're still underground. They uh, haven't been dug up, but you can hear them. And I think the only thing I thought was an interesting take yeah. was this one girl didn't know she was a vampire, really. Like, she couldn't see her reflection, but she knew uh-huh. she changed. But so she's, I think what they said is, like, oh, when you die, get buried. Don't get cremated. So she gets cremated. <laughs> But she breaks out during the, the cremation? halfway cremation. Uh-huh. So she comes out all fucking mangled and shit. Oh. It's a fucked scene. <laughs> but you're like, this scene's good? But this episode's but garbage. But this episode is ass. You're like, why am I in present day? I, I kind of fucking... <laughs> I kind of how they I, I kind of hate how they made the boat sink. To this day. To this day. So there, that section of Dracula of the book, like uh, yeah. what's considered the last voyage of the Demeter, yeah. is my favorite part of that book. Because it is so good. It is so fucking good. And to this day, mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever seen something adapt that part of the book and do it well, if at all. <laughs> I, think, I think they started to do it well. They just ended it wrong. Yeah. 
Like, I'd say they worked all the way to the ending, and then they fucked it. Because <laughs> yeah, like even, like, a Francis Ford Coppola's movie, right? Yeah. It kind of skips over that part, because it goes from the Jonathan Harker part with, you know, Keanu Reeves' amazing British accent. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes straight into, like, the whippy stuff. Yeah. I almost feel like it's just hard to shoot, because it, it, it's... It's a boat. <laughs> yeah. You got to do a lot of stuff on a very small boat. And I just don't think a lot of directors or people want to do that. Yeah. They're like, oh, we can skip I, this. I mean, I've heard it's going to be adapted into its own film, like just that one section. It, it said it was but, good in yeah. the TV show that I saw. It said they just fumbled the ending. Which, well, that show was only three episodes? Yeah, it was three only three episodes. Three so hour and a half episodes. Yep. Because, sure. I mean, it's the same guys who did the Sherlock for BBC, yeah. so they did it the same. I would up. recommend. They did, they did fuck up. I would bad. recommend just watching one and two and just be like, oh, damn, too bad Dracula died in the water. <laughs> Crazy. And then just. just he's down there forever. Yeah. That was the end. Yeah. It was a three hour movie. You know how Netflix says, like, oh, you've seen episode one and two. You yeah, know, yeah, continue yeah. watching. Go go under your, your continue watching, clear it, and then you'll never think about it ever again. Nice, yeah. nice. It was nice. bad. Yeah. I was so tilted, so tilted. But I mean, it's always fun to see like different takes on like that that genre, right? That that creature in specific, uh, especially now. Who is it? Who is the director I'm thinking of? Um, is it Ari Aster? No. Who did The Witch? Not Witch? Ari Aster. That was not Ari Aster because Ari Aster did Midsommar. Yeah. Yeah. Who did The Witch? The person who did The Lighthouse. Same, oh, same, same guy. Because he's doing a adaptation of Vampire. But Ooh. yeah, the Vampire. That'd be interesting. I'll watch that. <laughs> With uh, what's her face? The chick from um, Queen's Gambit is in it. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah. That'd be pretty good. Anya Taylor Joy. Yeah, that's her name. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. But it's always fun. I mean, uh, like I said, like movies like this or, always, or shows like this, it's always fun to see the different takes on vampires. I think yeah. the other good take that, like, not many people talk about is, like, oh, what's the name of the movie? Twilight. Yeah, the one where they glow. Yeah. I love, love the take of, like, I can go in the sun and I twinkle like an asshole. Like, that was, like, the best thing. I yeah, fucking I hate that series. Why? It's got your so name in it. much. You're You're that's probably one of the reasons why <laughs> I hate that series. So, you know what the worst part of it is? That it's good? No. <laughs> that it was all a dream? That, there, that there's potential for good in its world building? But it shits on it at every single turn. You know where it makes up for it? Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> <laughs> Brings that world building that you were missing and there's, shoves up your ass. I mean, there's parts of the world building. I mean, it's just vampire shit, right? I mean, it's you know, it is what it is, right? You like you play with yeah. vampire stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, that part is fine. It's just everything else. It's the vehicle driving everything. Mm -hmm. It's just such. Garbage. <laughs> Why'd I have to make it a romance? Because, I mean, I, well. That's what sells. That's part of Probably, it. Probably, yeah. Uh, well, it's more for meant for teens and not meant for, like, adults. And it's like a fetishized <laughs> idea of what those things are. Wait, which one were we talking about? <laughs> Both. Fifty Shades? <laughs> we'll play it out. I mean, I mean it, it's, it's a Mormon lady strange fetish, right? Because mm -hmm. that, that's basically what it was. Basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I love reading those books. <laughs> <laughs> I hated every second of it, but I kept going. I've read in the, the hope, first book. In the hope it might get better. Because, I mean. And I've watched the first cause, You know, because there's good romance books, right? You know, there's oh, good yeah, ones. Yeah. They're decent, you even if it plays with different, like, conventions and stuff, right? Yeah. You'll see it in fantasy. And, I mean, maybe it would get better. <laughs> You're telling me not after no. epi or episode movie one, it doesn't get better. No, you know it's so funny. Damn. Listening to fucking Robert Pattinson like interviews like nowadays, <laughs> and anytime someone, so anytime someone asks him about those movies, yeah. you just see like a little bit of himself die inside. Is that, he's not celebrated like people die inside. Yeah. It's just him. It's just him. Yeah. Every, Every time, time they say Twilight, they're like, <laughs> oh, hey, guess what, Twilight. <laughs> and, it's, and it's so funny because you see comments like no one hates Twilight more than Robert Pattinson. <laughs> <laughs> but he made some money and he's got his name out yeah. there. Big yeah. <laughs> and now he just does indie movies. Mm -hmm. like, well, I guess he's being Batman now, right? So what if it's good? It might if be. Another vampire I, I, movie. If he doesn't come out <laughs> in a cape that twinkles at night <laughs> or in the sun, <laughs> he's so pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> And it's funny because he is such a good actor. He's, he's a very a he's actor. a very he's good a actor. actor. <laughs> he just played a shitty role that he'll always yep. be known for. Uh huh. I guess it's not shitty in certain people's eyes. I mean, I mean, if you made that much fucking money, 
Got yeah, your name at, out there. Yeah, but look at fucking, uh, what's his name right now playing uh, James Bond. Daniel Craig. Yeah, he's like, fuck this guy. I'll do one more. <laughs> Give me the money. How much? <laughs> how much? How much? hundred million? I got this. I can, it's I can so do funny. I watched a month the, of I watched filming. an interview with him, too, now, because, you know, the movie's coming out. Yeah. And you can tell he's done. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can tell he's so. I think so, he's been done for, like, Yeah, he's been done movies. for a yeah. while. He's like, I'm, he's, he's like, like, this is my last one. This is my last. How much you paying me? <laughs> this is my last one. <laughs> this one. Kill this me. One. Kill, Kill me. me. <laughs> <laughs> this is my last one. <laughs> I heard this was pretty good though. I hope it is. I've heard it's pretty. I heard, I heard it's a good. I, I, yeah, I heard yeah. it's a good. I heard it's a good send off for his character. It's not an amazing movie. This is a good send off. It's just a good send off for his, his character. Okay. I'll be happy. Well, we'll talk about James Bond when uh, when the time comes. When, when the time when comes, that movie. We'll talk about out. all twenty five of those we'll, movies. We'll talk about probably like three to five of them. <laughs> we'll do a Daniel Craig episode of his James Bonds because a lot. That's a lot of James Bond movies. Twenty five. It's too many. It's too many. I agree with them. <laughs> I've seen all of them. <laughs> so have I, but I don't remember like 90% of uh, the, them. All the Roger Moore movies just kind of blend together yeah, in my mind. Oh, God. <laughs> Sean Connery's pretty blendy. <laughs> Uh, his I can differentiate more. He has less movies. That's why. He does have less. Because Roger Moore has like fucking eight of them. Yeah, so sure. they all just kind of... <laughs> Jesus. Maybe one day we'll do top five James Bond movies. <laughs> Top five but he hasn't seen enough of them. It's all just gonna You've be the Daniel. It's just gonna be the Daniel Craig of them. The, the there's five. There's oh, oh right, the Pierce Brosnan ones. You can see at least the Sean Connery ones. I've seen Off the Pussy. That's a Roger Moore. Yeah, it's Roger Moore. It's a yeah. good one too. <laughs> <laughs> We're all good. The Jane Fine. You can't yeah. fuck him up. He's uh, just yeah. a spy that fucks people and <laughs> he fucks <laughs> and he fucks <laughs> in fucks many again. different ways. <laughs> and then he gets fucked most of the time yeah. by like movie three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Dracula. <laughs> Vampires. Vampires. Well, I, I mean, I, it's, it's done. <laughs> it's done. I'm surprised we... <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised we talked as long as we did about the show. But I mean, there's a lot to go over. Yeah, it's fucking like eight hours of content. Yeah. But... I'm surprised we somehow just turned it into just vampires. <laughs> well, I mean, because so, this, this is the thing, right? It's well, the no, theme. No, it, it's what it is. It works out perfectly. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like Netflix, but, you know, fuck it. Vampires, even better. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching our uh, never-ending vampire story. Because they never die, I guess. I don't know. Mm-mm. But uh, check out our next one. Uh, we'll be probably Top down. Top five a- zombie movies. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be down a person, probably. You might be gone. Are you going to be gone? Yes and no. Well, he's, he's staycationing. I'm he's staycationing. So he's, he'll be here. That's going to be a shame for what you're going to have to watch. <laughs> so <laughs> You ready to watch some movies? I don't think any of these movies have been bit made before 1940. Pretty much. <laughs> I, I'll say this. We'll, we'll go 70s to the before time. Okay. There's some like, I want to watch, talk about some of the, Older ones, like I said, like you know, Young Frankenstein. Oh, okay, Bride of Frankenstein's okay. like four. Yeah, Bride of Frankenstein's 50s. really good. I'm good. <laughs> you watch Creature of the Black Lagoon, The Blob. Mm-hmm. The Blob. The Blob. Yeah. God. So we're gonna talk about stuff that he's gonna hate and he's gonna host it. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so you know, like, subscribe, subscribe. What was the other thing? Oh, subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Our names are down below. Click on links. Click on them all. Subscribe on those links. Buy our stickers. Supports our podcast. Yep. Blah, blah, blah. blah Spooky blah. month out. Oh, wait, no. Spooky month halfway done. <laughs> See you next week. Peace. Peace. Okay, now we got to take a picture. Meow, 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 Weird. Meow. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. This is the intro. <laughs> yeah. I wish I started recording a little bit earlier. But Damn it. I got I got some of it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oof. I'll probably cut it in. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put oh, it at the so end. So it's not based on a book? Meow. 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 Oh, I guess it's just his. You got a Meow a Jesus song. Meow. 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 Meow, 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 meow,